Hey everybody, it's George the Antique Nomad and my adventure today is taking me along the Trail of Tears. Hi, I'm George the Antique Nomad. Come with me as I wander the country in search of valuable vintage, amazing antiques and cool collectibles. We'll buy, sell and trade at antique malls, shops and shows, estate sales, flea markets, thrift stores, anywhere people go to find really interesting things that just aren't made anymore. So come on, let's go. I am in western Kentucky. This is part of the route that the people were marched from the Cherokee Nation to Oklahoma and other natives as well. And it was a terrible and very difficult journey for them. Uh, it's a very interesting route to take with a lot of old towns, including this one. This is Fredonia, Kentucky. Fredonia is out in farm country, but it also is on what has become a tourist route which is highway 641 and there's a lot of antiquing along it i'm going to stop at one shop on my way to do a removal for a new client of mine in marion kentucky and we're taking her things to sell this weekend a little bit north of fredonia is crane and the junction to mexico kentucky and this is where windmill antiques is I've had them to various estate sales I've done. I've seen them at the auctions around here, and I've been in this store once before, and they had good stuff. The prices were fair, and there were some things for resellers, and it's fun. So I wanted to stop on the way. I'm going to be coming back and forth for the next few days doing this removal for the client. So I thought, well, we'll hit them on the way through. Well, the folks who run this are neat people, and I'm looking forward to showing it off. And this used to be the Rock Lumber Company here in town, and there's a little bit of evidence of that still because down in the floor, they've got the old advertising for back in the 50s when they would have introduced, maybe even in the 40s, the asphalt tile. And that's still there in the floor. I like this one with the uh, fork and spoon. Old linoleum's actually pretty collectible now. But they've got cool stuff here, starting with the old enamel stove here. That is priced at $3.50. Old baking powder box. People just love crates right now. Cream separator. This pattern here is Zinnia, which was one of my grandmother's patterns back in the day. This was by the Metlocks Company, Metlocks Poppy Trail, and they only want 85 for 54 pieces. That's actually a really good price. If I was still doing more pattern matching, I'd have to pick it up for that. You can see it's very late 60s, early 70s colors with that Harvest Gold and the avocado. This is a cool horse lamp. I like the fact that it's all stayed together because these were separate planters and it was made this way. It uh, does not have a maker name on it. I like the shade that they got as a replacement. It's a good style and shape for it, I think. Items marked with red half off. Well, we'll have to see if anything jumps out at us. Oh, that's for the quilt rack, which they're not selling because they're using it for display. But let's take a look at this. It's got a fairly new backing. And it's $12.50. And even better because it's 20% off. That's just got a good look to it and some nice color. I think I could have that. This is a neat shape here. This is Red Wings Tampico, one of their fun modern patterns. They use this blank for a couple of other things, but this is a great shape. It does have Red Wing marked on the bottom. Might be hard to read. And this, $14.50 minus 20%. Oh, actually, no, that's a red stripe. That might actually be half off. Um, let's see if this is a chip. No, that looks like it's okay. I think I'm going to get this too. And then look at this guy here. He says he's a pretzel server. Well, I have never seen a pretzel server before, but that makes sense to me. It looks like it's the original stick because it's oxidized down where it sat in there. So I think they knew what they were talking about. That is just strange enough. I think I've got to have him. Of course, we're near coal country, so you're going to see coal shuttles like these. They sell pretty well to people who use them for things like kindling and magazines and even for feeding cattle and things. But it looks to me like these 
don't have tags, so I'm gonna have to ask. Now this juice bottle you'll see a lot. This is a go along by Anchor Hawking made to go along with Manhattan glass. It's not technically part of the line exactly because it's not quite the same sharpness to the rings, but the people who collect it know the difference. And there's the Anchor for Anchor Hawking. It's only $5, that's a pretty good amount. I think I'll probably get that too. Look at this bike, great front end on that. So something you could have gotten at Sears which means it was made for them by somebody else, but it's a 1963 Sears Flightliner. The Flightliner Space Liner, and it is priced at 120. It's a pretty good restoration project. The fact that it's got those front lights, here's how it would look like restored. It looks like it's pretty solid and has all the parts, and that's what you want, and it's a boys, which is also what you want. They're harder to find because boys were harder on bikes, so. For someone who restored bikes, it's got everything you need. You really just have to paint. Then this is a good deal. If I had decent chairs, I'd want to get this table because it's only $89. And we don't see a lot of low prices on Formica tables anymore like we used to. Plus it's got the leaf and it's in good condition. The chrome's not in terrible shape. This is a fairly common shape that we see in them. But the happy yellow color is what would sell me on it for $89. If I can find chairs, I'll be back for that. I like the steer here too. This looks like something out of the 70s. This is a neat table here with all the legs. These were popular in the 20s, especially they have sort of a Moorish aspect to them. Eight-legged lamp table, priced at 95. I like that too, but I'm about to pick one up, so. 85 on the croc. Crocs are very popular here. 50 on the pair of blue boudoir lamps. That's not bad. Oh, and here's these cats from the 80s and 90s that everybody likes now. Priced at 24. They don't eat much. I like the way that they have this displayed, where you really feel like you're walking into a little room. Boy, the prices on these are so much less than they used to be. If you like solid oak furniture, this is $325. It used to be you'd sell something like this for $650. It's all restored. It's got the nice cabinet. That would have originally been for hats or gloves or that sort of thing. Little old heater stove insert, priced at $85. You see these in this part of the country quite a bit. This one looks like it doesn't have its electrical unit anymore. And then because I know someone who likes these fish, I always look at them, but he's got a chip. We are in quilt country. We're not too far from Paducah where the quilt museum is. This one's priced at 59, which is not a terrible price actually for being hand sewn. And it looks like it's 1930s or 40s based on the fabric and it's got a decent pattern. So that is not bad. I have not been finding quilts that are affordable. That's one of the better prices I've seen lately. This one's going to be a little later in time. You can tell again by the fabric styles. This kitty fabric here, this is probably 1970s. Here's a crib quilt or wall hanging. Two piece applique, lots of family names there. And then here's a neat little Italian blown glass cigarette lighter with its little bowl, an ashtray. It looks Italian, but it's actually Christ, which means it was made in Japan. They did a lot of mid-60s stuff that looked like Italian. It's certainly a good price for what it is. Almost tempted. I'm not sure if the customer is going to be there like it would be for a real Italian piece, though. Here's the old Mountain Dew for you Mountain Dew fans. So while I'm thinking of it, 
please comment in the space below here and also hit the thumbs up button to like this video. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell below to be notified of new videos coming every Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And thank you so much for following along. Let's go back to this video. We're not too far from Huntingburg, Indiana, so we're gonna see Ool Pottery more in this area. But Ool Acorn Ware, that's gonna be a stamp used between 1908 and 1948. So that gives us an idea of age and the number six. It's priced at 129 and around here that is what they go for. Neat old typewriter. The early computer, $49. Also seems to be about the going rate these days. There's an old pack saddle from about 1890 and it's priced at 98. Nice looking planes. This one here is a Stanley Bailey number 26 and it's in really in nice shape. It's got the Bailey name on it and the Stanley decal. That's priced at 35 for that condition and that size. That's a good deal. Oh, I like kitchen chickens and here's one right now. This is going to be from about 1950 and these little holes were to Put hors d'oeuvres in or pedophores, that sort of thing. Anything, little lunch meats or cheese, anything you could put out the end of a toothpick and then you would stick them in here and serve them that way. So table decoration, $5, I think I gotta have that. And then this is a spoon holder, probably Japanese with the rooster on top. Yep, there's the Japan label. Also $5, you know, kitchen stuff with roosters, you just can't really go wrong with that. And somebody could use this if they had serving spoons or things they were using to make their uh, food with. So that seems like it's worth a buy too. And then here's something clever. The top is a shaker and a shaker. And then you've got your cream and sugar underneath. So you just decapitate that hen and rooster and you have your whole breakfast set there. And that one is $12.95. Again, well priced, I think, for what it is. I like this old dripolator. Look at the tag on there. This would be a, let's see, that's, that feels like glass and the knob's plastic. So probably about 1950 and this would have been for your church social. And then this dealer has a little room here. For a small store, they do keep in a good variety. Rooster today, boy, everything's a rooster I'm noticing. There's a set of Melmac down there. I believe Alf made this before he left the planet Melmac. They don't have a lot of new stuff here, but what they do have definitely fits in with farmhouse decor. Some nice colors in these quilt tops here. There's some interesting patterns there too. And this is kind of sweet. I would not pay any attention to this furniture if it didn't have the painting on it, but the painting really kind of makes it. It's got that sort of 1970s French look to it. She said they've been selling a lot of furniture here and I'm not surprised it's been uh, popular. Now this is cool. Here's where you take old quilt squares and pieces and damaged quilts and you turn them into something else. This is a great way to recycle a quilt and keep that original thing that somebody spent so much time and effort on and turn it into something that you can use today. You know, a lot of times quilts got stained or ripped it's nice to see people taking parts of them and making something we can enjoy now. And then some nice glass here. Fostoria coin. Fenton on the right, Fenton on the left. I always like this particular McCoy piece. They've got that priced at 45, which is not bad for that size. It's a good color. I 
and there's Marble Top. I keep looking at Marble Top. It seems like it's making it come back. But behind it here is something I really like, which is this oil drip lamp. This is a different size. It's the usual bashful bather, but the foliage is different. It's not green. It's actually golden orange and very 70s. Let's see if we can find a price on that. False Wrap Villager canister set. I like the red utility table and the stools underneath. That's neat. Jewel tea, definitely a mainstay in this part of the country. More roosters. I tell you, it must be because we're in farm country. There are roosters everywhere. This one looks like an American disc. It's only $5, but it's a little cracked around the edges. So that guy I'm gonna leave behind. There's a very pretty print in a Victorian frame. This is Royal Dalton. This is not a piece people generally recognize. It's from the 1920s. It's got a nice mark on the bottom from T. Lamb and Sons. So this was actually done by Royal Dalton to be given away as a premium. And it feels like a heavier, thicker earthenware. I have to say, I find this pretty likable and it's so different for them. But even though this isn't the type of thing that a lot of people think of with Royal Dalton, it's just unusual enough. I think I'm going to get this. There's a neat pocket inkwell. See how it seals? That's so that you could actually carry it with you. That was before you could just have a nice portable big pen. Like the black phone. Teamsters money clip. This little set here is a sweater guard, I believe. That's why you have the pins with the chain. It's to hold your sweater together on a windy day. And it's got earrings too. That's cute. Garnier is the maker. And here's green depression glass. And yes, a lot of this will glow. This is the Treasure Craft Barrel Line Cookie Jar. This showed up on the Dick Van Dyke Show. It was on the room divider between their living room and I believe their kitchen. You see it occasionally depending on the episode as they walk by. They sold 50,000 of these largely because people saw them on television. And let's see what the corner booth is doing here. They're having a discount. Uh, they have a lot of vinyl. I wish I had time to look through. Little Fenton basket with Easter coming. I seem to notice those. Very cute little child's rattle on top for a very, very little child. It's $20. That would just be fun to have as part of a display. And, and with the discount, it's actually ooh, $16. So maybe it'll be part of my display. And this is $4. This is an Italian pillow slip, 1944. By then the Allies had invaded Italy and so they were making things as souvenirs for our servicemen to send home. And here's a couple of them. Cute with that heart on it. I might just get one of those. One to my mother, one to my sweetheart. I think we'll take sweetheart. Mothers are great, but sweethearts could be anybody. That's a little easier to say. Well, I sure had a lot of fun at Windmill Antiques. I got to see Gail and her husband again. You know, they got married in the store a couple of years ago after having known each other for decades. Sometimes it takes you a while in life to figure out where you're supposed to be and they have found it. And I'm glad that I found them because I had a lot of fun. I bought some cool stuff, including the oil drip lamp. Very happy about that. And then I have a car full of boxes. My next stop, the Marion Inn bed and breakfast. Go over a cute little covered bridge. to get in, and then it's somewhere back in the trees.
Thanks for joining me again in the fun and fascinating antique community here where online meets the real world. Please click the subscribe button below, click the bell to be notified when new videos upload, leave a comment below, and hit thumbs up to like this video. Links to our online social media daily posts and our items for sale are in the description. This is George at the Antique Nomad. Bye for now!